Oh, if I had a nickel for every time I was ripped off doing SEO, I probably wouldn't even need to make these videos. But the truth is, I ripped myself off. And so today I'm gonna to share some really powerful stuff about SEO and doing SEO for your business that's gonna really transform the way you look at SEO, the way you treat SEO, and how you invest into SEO rather than it being an expense. So if you're ready to get down to it, let's go ahead and jump into the video. What's up guys, I'm Adrian Boisel. In today's video, I wanna talk about SEO because it's a powerful tool for you to understand how to grow your business and to dominate your competition. Now to give you some context, I started investing into my SEO years and years ago. I did it all myself in the beginning and then I would hire out certain people online and in different countries and I would throw tons and tons of money at SEO and backlinks and citations and all these crazy technical things that we don't have time to talk about in this video. I'm gonna just graze across them, but the mindset and the understanding that you need to have around SEO is super important if you're gonna find success. The thing that I did wrong and the difference that I have from then to now is SEO was not some, oh, I'll just put $500 a month, right? It's not about $500 a month. You need to be thinking about SEO based on your competitors and what they're putting into their SEO. So if the top guy in my industry, let's just use Just Creative as a good example, my, my friend Jacob Cass, if he has probably invested $50,000 a year into his SEO for a decade, now I'm having to compete with that. So if I think I'm gonna come in and spend $500 a month, where do you think I'm gonna rank on the search engines in comparison to him, right? I'm not even gonna be in the same neighborhood and all I'm doing is hurting myself. So if you really wanna do SEO, you really first need to start thinking about the expectations versus the reality. The reality is, is SEO is not a 500,000, 2,000, even $5,000 a month or $10,000 a month investment. It is a lump sum investment that you have the luck and the abilities and the resources with people like me in your life and other people that are out there to actually invest over time and that is the game with SEO. SEO is a long-term thinking but it is a lump sum thinking. So let's just look at some of our competitors. I have competitors that are in my space like Jacob that have a domain rating of 70. I have a domain rating of 54, right? It's taken me a long time. I've been putting $2,500 a month as, my, as an agency every month since 2020 and probably even more like 2019 into my SEO. And because of that, my domain rating has cranked up. I've started to add more keywords. I got thousands and thousands of keywords on my website, which leads thousands of people back to my website. So I want you to change your perspective of thinking that SEO is some, oh, I'm gonna put a couple thousand dollars to this and in the next six months I'm gonna see results. No, you're not. Just tell you right now, no, you're not. If you think you're gonna run an SEO campaign and you're gonna have success, within 30, 60, 90, 120 days, or even 365 days, you're setting yourself up for failure. That is not reality. You need to be thinking long-term. Advertising, if you want results quickly, is your hunting. Farming is SEO. Certain things take a lot longer to grow. Think about SEO as growing trees, like money trees. It is gonna take a very long time to grow money trees. Trees do not grow overnight and they do not grow quickly unless you have a mulberry tree like I do. It grows very fast. But most trees in general do not grow fast. It takes years of watering and sunlight and loving that tree and taking care of that tree and pruning that tree to get a beautiful tree that's gonna pay dividends for years and years and years to come. And if you still don't take care of that tree after, there's a chance that it could die and get diseased. So taking care of this part of your business and thinking about it over the long time horizon of your business is very important. Before I get to the next point, I'm curious, how much money have you spent as a creative, as a business owner on your SEO and how long did you run for it? And did you have success? I'm guessing because you watched this video, you probably didn't have a whole lot of success and you're trying to change that. And so you made a good move by doing this first. So drop a comment down below, introduce yourself. Let me know, I wanna hear a little bit of your background. I wanna get some feedback from you guys because that helps me craft more of these videos and make them better. All right, so the second point, I've talked a little bit about this, is the long-term thinking versus the short-term thinking. Short-term thinking, like I said, is hunting. You need to eat today, you better go advertise, you better pick up the phone and start dialing, you better send text messages, you better send messages, right? But if you are in a place where you have a lot of consistent business coming in, then where you need to be putting your money is into the long-term stuff like SEO. I expect myself to be investing into SEO forever, but I'm gonna be able to taper that back slowly over time, and maybe not. Maybe I actually end up increasing it over time, but my goal is to taper that down over time and to ramp up my advertising and to really grow my audience and bring more awareness because as great as SEO is, 
that's not where the majority of the traffic is going nowadays on Google. You have a lot of the traffic going to the Google Maps and you have a lot of traffic going into the Google Ads and then I'm gonna be spending a lot of my time and my money and my resources on YouTube. YouTube advertising, YouTube organic. This is actually a form of SEO long term. Think about how long I've been doing this channel, how many videos I have, I have over 400 videos. A lot of the traffic that comes to my website has come from these videos that we've turned into articles. So when you start thinking about content and the way that you're gonna strategize and position your SEO, it's really important. Is it video SEO? Is it written SEO? These are really important factors to make a decision on before you go and run. And if you don't have a marketing plan and you don't have a clear path for that, that is something that I can help you with. All right, the next piece, and this is where the rip off piece comes in because you've probably ripped yourself off many times like I did is understanding white hat SEO, gray hat SEO, and black hat SEO. Google has set terms. They have set rules. They have set guidelines. There's all kinds of people that think that they've figured out the algorithm. Nobody really knows the algorithm. We can guess, we can read their updates, we can listen to the experts who work at Google who share information on the algorithms, but the truth is we're never gonna know 100% of it. But we do know that if we stay consistent and we use this acronym that they've created, EAT, expertise, authority, and trust, and if you focus on building those and being a genuine giver when it comes to your content and not holding anything back like I do, that is gonna be the best SEO strategy you can possibly have. But if you wanna get a little bit more granular and you wanna look at white hat, black hat, and gray hat, there are things that Google loves and there are things that Google hates, and then there's things that are kind of gray areas that as long as you play it smart, you can get away with, like Google My Business listings, getting addresses, right? They've put that in the black hat category. If you have things like gray hat SEO, where maybe I have 50 different websites that I own that are my assets, and those are all pointing to each other, and I have kind of a link network going on, they consider that black hat, but it's kind of more on the gray hat side of things, if I'm being honest. And then you have white hat SEO, where you're just writing blog articles every day, and you're putting out information to press releases, and you're doing typical stuff that hopefully gets you picked up on a mainstream article. And a lot of that press and a lot of that PR people don't think about, they think they just get lucky and end up on entrepreneur.com or Inc. Magazine. That's not true. The, we, the way you get to end up on those sites is by paying people, putting money in people's pockets and so that they can move for you. Editors, writers, journalists, all these different people, putting money in their pocket, hiring PR firms, working with PR people, and putting the money out there that you need to get yourself positioned on these highly authoritative websites is how you're gonna build your white hat SEO. I want you to stop ripping yourself off. I want you to start making money from your SEO, start pouring in and investing into your SEO monthly. Whether, like I said, whether that's on YouTube here or on Google search engine, those are the kings of the whole SEO game. If you don't put your money there, you're really only hurting yourself. So that's what I got for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already checked out the Instagraphics Pro Network, I definitely wanna encourage you to do that. There'll be some questions you have to fill out. There's a link down in the description. Make sure you fill out all those questions or I won't let you into the group. And then the last thing is if you need help and you wanna work one-on-one -on -one with me or even in a group setting with me, check out my new website, adrianboysell.com. I got lots of opportunities there. I'd love to help you. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Adrian Boysell and until the next one, keep looking up. Thank you.